So good morning from Wicker Sam Canine Ranch in beautiful Marshville, North Carolina. Today we have got Valerie working on her basics warm up as well as her Canine Good Citizens um, certification training. The first thing Mr. Bryce is going to do is he's going to do a box heel left. Yep. Yep. Good. Yep. And we have her on a fixed buckle collar. And we're basically getting the recital effect out with two laps. He expertly stepped off and yep. tapped his side. Yep. And then when she started looking in the camera, yep. he continued his motion of his feet, yep. never stopping or allowing the dog to yep. make him stop. Good girl. Sit. Good. Good a girl. signal and a reward. I love it. Nice. So we're right on. That's our box heel right, and that's the very first thing that we will do with her to orientate her to her work for the day, as well as pack membership and getting her parallel left of the handler. All right, let's move on to exercise two in a single format. We're gonna about face, and we're gonna take the dog into motion with the left hand pivot. Good girl. Good. At home, we do all three of these Good. exercises in sets of three. Good. Strong 90 degree pivot in that handler. Yep. Go we allow the dog to go through a little self discovery yep. with the motion. Good Excellent girl. pivot. Good girl. Perfect leash position. And so we're going to finish the dog when we're ready Sit. with a rotation. Good. Good girl. Nice communication. And so we're just complete with that. Off oh, there, good. The third exercise that we'll run after we teach the dog the intersection of don't cross and don't forge will be the formal send away and recall. And so what we're looking to do there is to give Bella a consistent opportunity to meet and greet people. And so we'll go ahead. Bella, friend. Love is footwork and communication. Y'all rewind that, that's nice stuff. So we pet the dog from underneath during the training opportunities on the send away. Initially, it's paired with some induction. As we can see, the dog is ready Woo -wee, to return Good. to her handler. Vet, heel, heel. Good. There Sit. is communication. Sit. No. Nice. Sit. Two, three, awesome, and reward. Good. And so we've been fluctuating between a sit and a stand with this particular puppy. Let us do one more. Uh, nice. Oh yeah. I love how he shook the lead as he stepped out. Good, that was awesome. Letting her know that she was released. Good, from her side. Good, we love old Bella up. She's talking to her sister, but our handle is going to intervene. Leave it. Heel. Good. Good. Excellent. Sit. Go. Sit. Good. And she's talking. Right now, Belle's trying to uh, negotiate with our handler. 
Awesome. Let us do one more for a complete loop. This time the induction will be ready for her. We'll put the cookie right on her nose. Great. We'll get the sit we're looking for. Again, we've got 10 more days at home with this puppy. The main pre uh, pretense will be delineation between the sit and the stand as we apply it to work. She's looking at her handler. She totally knows what's uh, in the playbook. Bella, leave it. Heel. Good girl. Heel. Good. Smiling and Bella laughing. Good nice. Girl. I love it. Good girl. Fantastic. So her negotiations didn't work. Mr. Bryce is indeed our referee with a tight strike zone calling every foul. Good job, mister. I'm going to shake it out and let's move the canine good citizens. All right, here we go, everybody. Here we go. We got AKC canine good citizens. Our Bella is in a sit stay with Mr. Bryce. I am going to approach. I'm going to hand this guy something and then perhaps I'm going to hand him something again. And what I'm looking for is the dog not to cross the left toe line in excitability because she sees the human. Hey, sweetie. All right. All right. Test complete. Here we go. Good, good, good. All right. So test number two is going to be sitting politely for petting. That was awesome. I love how y'all stacked the dog. May I pet the dog's going to be the key yes. question. Yes, sir. We see communication. We'll go from underneath and love this thing up. My eyes are off of the dog. Good, 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 good. Backside signal, looking great. Hey, baby girl, I love you. You're so sweet, baby. May I pet the dog? Sure. Working on tones with saturation method. Good girl. That's nice. I love it. Test complete. Up here. Good girl. Good. Good. That's my girl. Awesome, so we've uh, racked her forward into a stand stay. You gave a signal with a vertical on the lead at 90 degrees and a point with his right toe as well as his index finger. Nice, very nice. So we're gonna work a stand stay or appearance and grooming, whichever the application is. I'm gonna ask for one revolution so that I can get into the middle. Yep. Good. Yep. Good. Stand. Awesome. Stay. And so what we see is she sticks her right toe into the ground and then you see her right shoulder come to rest. I come up to the dog handler combination. I ask the key question. May I inspect your dog? Yes. I do a visual of her. Make sure we have no flyaways. Make sure she's looking beautiful as she does. Bathed and groomed yesterday. Good. Notice when I go in to touch the dog, number one's on the withers. The dog takes this little bobble paw and tries to get her hips just as strong as she can because she knows the enforcement position is right here in the shoulder and Mr. Bryce has got his eyeball on it. So we go one, two, three, four, five. Woo wee, nice. And then we're going to drag my body across so that we can acquire a backside signal from the handler. Woohoo! Nice. All through. Good Excellent girl. work. Good Let's girl. go. Pushing that nice. All right. So what I'm gonna ask for now is a little bit of economy mo and motion, and I'm gonna call a cadence. Are you ready? Yes. All right. So what I want to do is, yes. Thank you. We're gonna go forward. You. We'll go left turn. You. Good. Good girl. You. We'll go about right turn. You. Nice. We'll go right turn. Yep. Good girl. We'll go right turn again. Yep. Good girl. And we'll finish in a stand. Bell. Stand. Atta girl. Stand. She's got it totally. Good girl. Nice. That's my working puppy. Good girl. Good girl. Task complete. All through. Yeah. These one and two. Okay. Finishing in a stand stay. We are walking through the crowd as it's subtitled. Stay. Yeah. Yes. So we're going to work our walk, uh, walking through the crowd. We have our sister assembled as well as her training partner. We're going to have two revolutions and a figure eight. Good. Good girl, Beth. What I'm looking for is economy motion. Casual interest in the dogs. Good. 
good. Leave it heel. Good girl. But you know, it's trained if you watch the ankle of the handler and the shoulder Leave joint it. of the dog. Heel. Good, good, good. I see it. Good girl. I see it. Good She's telling her indication. Let's it. go. She's good. indicating. I love it. Finishing in a stand. No. Stand. Stay. Good. good. Watch your stick that paw in the ground. I love it. What a good girl. Good girl. Test Looking good. So next we need to check our stays. What we're going to do is we're going to assemble her and put her in a stay position. Good. Good. Similar good. number three in our basics. Good. 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 We walk away from our puppy, creating a separation. Nice. We've got alert head position between the shoulders so you're in good shape. We're going to return to our dog. We're going to reaffirm the command one more time for stay. And then we're going to separate one more time. Have a little bit of motion, perhaps do a split. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Only casual interest. We'll drag her right back in front of a stay signal. Good. Nice, thank you. Good. She seeks her instruction. And so long as she doesn't pop up as you return to your dog, then we know we're in great shape. Beautiful. Good, girl. Good, Good job. Girl. Good job. Good hey, job. So we're fixing to do coming when called. We're going to assemble Bell in a stand stay with the nose up heel. Good. That's good. Good. Stand. Good. Nice. We're going to leave our dog. Stay. Good. It's looking right into the signal hand. Nice. Then we're going to call our dog. Bell. Yep. Good, 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 good. She finishes good. Stand. in the stand. Good. Nice. And then we touch the withers. Good, good. Good. Awesome. Looking good, y'all. And then test complete. Oh, good. good job. Wow. So we're going to do a reaction to another dog. And we're going to use her sister, Miss Nala. And we're going to basically find each other from about 40 feet. We're gonna assemble. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hurry, hurry, come on. Let's go. We'll find each other in the distance. Good. And then we're gonna approach. We'll issue our stand. 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 Good. We're walk looking for our tow line. Awesome. That's A plus. What a good girl. And then test complete. We move through. Good, let's go, let's go. Good. We'll throw our leash down and step on it. We'll start to pet our puppy. And then we'll take our hands off our puppy. And then we'll put our hands on our puppy. Love what you did there. And then I'll ask hands off. We'll make our loud bump. Test complete. Good girl. Good girl. Nice. We'll make a turn and we're going to basically uh, bring him forward to the evaluator and we're going to have Mr. Bryce disappear. We're asked a key question. May I tend your dog? Yes, thank you. I take control of the dogs. I shake out the lead. And Mr. Bryce or Mrs. Ruth, Reef or Dr. Mike will disappear when we make sure that the puppies don't vocalize, they're not shy, resentful, or overtly worried. Everybody's calm, cool, and collective. Love your attitude. So pretty, you're pure. And so we'll ask for Mr. Bryce to return to his dog and ignore each and every one of them until we're past their butt. Hey, thank you. Awesome. Hey, Test pups. complete. Hey, good. Thank good, you. good, it's and good. Appreciate. All right, let's go. This is other stuff. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, you're so awesome. 
So we've assembled with Bale, Post, Canine Good Citizens. We're looking for opportunities for the puppy to work. Um, we have run a brush through her daily um, so as to work her coat, but not only get her positive experiences with that, so as that she could be uh, useful for a reading group, um, any kind of public outreach in that uh, regard. Um, for her own personal situation with Belle, what I would like to do is to orientate her um, to her working saddle per se, have her carry her own water. Uh, what we've been doing is stepping off and moving with our puppy in a linear fashion and then very simply giving her a stand stay as soon as we see that she's in a little slight forge. I'll bring her to rest each and every time. So I was basically able to move her approximately seven to 12 steps good before we saw the forge. And so what's going to create the cessation of the motion? No, good. In this instance, good girl, back to the stand stay. Again, we're teaching economy of motion. We're going to run this over and over. Forward motion. Good girl. Overlay in the tap and the praise. You see just a little dab of recital effect where she looks backwards. I have to maintain a positive, good forward motion. And so I'm going to just take her right back in through her pattern of motion. Very first one, we might make a mistake. Bring her to rest, but as you can see, in the next repetition pattern, puppy's trying to find our sweet spot of motion and where she's supposed to be. We'll make her about turn. Positive reinforcement. Little direction. And I'm going to elect this time, good, to issue the signal and reward the puppy. Note that we are in front of the dog and everything about that indicates steady language. We're still going to go into our five point. This is the first repetition for we're getting success. And our third and final, we're going to move her forward. <laughs> we have a puppy that's in a perfect working position. We're going to use about turns. Good, good, good. And we're going to continue our forward motion. Her sister is in and amongst us. We've got a little bit of doggy distraction as well. And so my goal is to have the puppy at the intersection of don't cross and don't forge with me slightly in front of her. At that point, we can do all kinds of cool things, such as the old Roy Rogers, where we drop the reins and dismount from the pony. Ultimately, what we've got to be able to do is to move her and have her in a nice stand position. She's going to acquire all the strength that she needs in the fore carriage. And what we want to be able to do is to be able to begin to manipulate our saddlebag. Good. So is it our puppy is to perform her stay. And if there's no wiggle there. Good job. And so we're going to finish her out from the positive. We see that the first repetition indicated a little correction. Good, and we were only able to travel about 10 to 12 foot. And then the second one, we got progressively longer in our strides and ability to just hold the position. And then in the third one, we have another positive. So again, that's why we're gonna work in sets of three, so is that we can quantify what the puppy's doing. I'm gonna finish out the bonus coverage. Good, 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 good. I'm gonna tap her off. I'm gonna make my quick turn. And one last time, I'm going to Drop the lead, good, issue my signal, and then I'm going to start to disassemble. And at this point, my eyes are on the dog's shoulder at all times. Even if I'm not in a physical enforcement position, I'm still able to enunciate upon the movement of the right shoulder. So all we got to do is get our puppy out of the apparatus, and then she's on to the pool, which in itself is a wonderful way for this particular dog to go celebrate. After the pool, she's good to go to the pond. Good. I'm the better man I am. <laughs>